So pulling the radiator out, it's basically the two top mounting screws, which I've already pre-undone. You can get away with just undoing this top hose and the bottom hose up by the thermostat housing location. Bleed line, and there's a fan shroud that's clipped on down the bottom. And that literally unclips. Once you get in the right position. That comes off both sides. I may have a temporary fix that one with a cable tie, but we'll sort that out. And the radiator will slide straight up. So move fan, lower shroud. Now it gives you access to pull the radiator straight up. Of um, it's just hand hose clamps, pretty basic. Top hose off. Hopefully that's falling in the container. Bottom hose off. Already got the bleed line off. Radiator. Overflow tank one. And that should just wriggle out. Hopefully I can do it one hand. You get the idea. I'll have to use two now. Let's uh, radiator out without having to remove the hosing too hard. And that's probably a five to ten minute job max if you haven't done it before. So to make it easier on myself, I've removed the mounting bolts to hold the fan on. Just so I can get into these puppies here, just makes it easier. So it's just made it easier. Get these nuts off. You need a 10 mil spanner. Fan up off. A little tip I do, take the belts off. P for power steering, obviously. A for alternator. AC for aircon. That way, if you are still new to the game, you can throw them over in the corner and get to them later. Right now, putting the belts back on, aircon, but you want to be checking them first inside of you. Any obvious wear, you can do the old fold trick. See if anything's split. These are going to run again. I've got spares, we're doing a big trip, so these will run again, and I'll. Uh, yeah, double check the alternator and power steering as I go. Forgot to mention, before you put your belts on, just check pulleys, fairings. Yeah, I know this is okay because I replaced it before the Nullarbor trip. Put a bit of lube or pull the bolt out and put a bit of never seize on it. Make it a lot easier to adjust. Check your water pump while you've got it off. Spin that, see if you can hear any noises. The alternator, spin that around, see if you can hear any noises. Aircon, so that's uh, all good. Continue with assembly. So to adjust the aircon belt, this is your locking nut, holds this bearing assembly in. This is your adjusting screw. Screw it in, as in you're doing it up clockwise. We'll pull this idler up. Undoing, we'll let it go down. Tension on the belt, you want some deflection. I normally go, if it's quarter of a turn rotation, that's all right. The alternator, jimmy it across, pry bar. And again, your deflection on here. Obviously that's way too much. I'll adjust that shortly. Power steering, to adjust that, same thing again. This one's a 10 mil. This one's 14 mil nut. Just crack that as you're locking. I've got some never sees on there, a bit of CRC. And adjust the screw. 
until you get your power steering belt to tension. Once all the belts are at tension, lock your lock nut or your bolt. Lock the power steering assembly up. Give them a little mark if you want so you can uh, remember that you've done them, especially before you do your trip. So to adjust the alternator, all I've done is put my pry bar between the bottom low amount of the alternator, the other part against the housing, and just pulled it back till the belt went firm enough, and just tighten that bolt up there. Now the bottom bolt, you probably just want firm, but not over tight, so you can adjust it on the side of the road. So I've just put the fan hub back on, it makes it easy without the fan. It's the four nuts, pretty self-explanatory. Now you put the fan back on, back onto the mounting, line that up to the top so you can work it out pretty easy. Radiator back in, plumb it up, 